guys, it is June 15th and I'm about to meet my mom for lunch. I edited and uploaded a vlog and I'm editing and uploading another vlog. What? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> it always does this to me. I'm just stupid, but... So I edited and uploaded two vlogs. Um, one's just not up yet because sometimes I just don't want to put like two vlogs back to back just because I don't want people to think that all I'm doing is vlogs now because I definitely want to do like actual like good content for you guys but obviously that just takes a lot more time and effort so that will be only happening you know once a week or like maybe like twice a week if like I'm feeling it but most likely once a week so I don't know but I actually do like vlogging a lot and I really like uploading vlogs a lot so I'm going to have to like get over my freaking fear and like post them back to back. So I will probably start doing that. Right now I'm doing my makeup for like the first time in ever. I love makeup. Makeup is like one of my like favorite hobbies. So like the fact that I like don't get to do it every day just makes me sad. Like obviously I could do it but like why waste product if you're not gonna like go out <laughs> you know what i mean so anyways i am going to peach and the pork chop with my mom for lunch i think i it is 329 and i have not eaten today there's like no food and we need to go grocery shopping so that's what we're gonna do afterwards and i tried to like even eat an avocado but it was like brown and disgusting so that didn't really work out that well and I finally did my eyebrows. I did them like maybe like two days ago with like just the brow wiz. And like, yeah, it looks natural, but like my eyebrows are like so shitty right now that I need the dip brow and the brow wiz. So I did the dip brow and the brow wiz today and they're back on fleek. So I'm just gonna praise the Lord right now because that is awesome. Makes me feel good when my eyebrows are like fleeky. Sometimes they say like hair is the biggest thing that could like make or break your look for the day But I honestly believe it's eyebrows guys. It's definitely eyebrows <laughs> I also feel like I need like refills of my mascara like it's not even out yet and I feel like I just refilled it but It's like not as good as it used to be like when you first get the tube, you know This is the roller lash and I just feel like it's just not as good as it used to be which really sucks but maybe I, it's time to even find like new mascaras, like maybe drugstore preferably because this is like $24. Like, and then I, I like, so if you know of any mascaras that are like the Roller Lash, let me know because I will definitely try them out. I've tried like the telescopic L'Oreal, I think. I didn't really like it at all. Um, and then I have the Lash Sensational, which I really like which I use on top of this. I am done getting ready. I'm just waiting for my mom to pick me up right now. I have learned a lesson. I cannot let like YouTube or anything play in the background while I'm talking my vlog because it's so annoying. Like I just edited a vlog with that. I was like, oh my God, why did I not just shut it off? Anyways, it's off. <laughs> so I'm wearing just like this Forever 21 top. It's like a really plain white tank and then I tucked it into like my black chino shorts that I just got. They were on sale for I think like 30 or less than 30. It was insane. Like, then I'm wearing these little cheetah print flats things. You are vloggable. My mommy hates me and she never wants to see my vlogs. She <laughs> says she's not vloggable. There's no such thing as not being vloggable. You are beautiful, my mother. Thank you for this dinner, this lunch, dinner, whatever the freaking crap it was. It's 5.22 and it's the first time we've eaten all day. We are currently at the Peach and the Pork Shop and we already had our dinner. I got a burger and we got sweet potato fries and now we're getting a warm peach brownie and I will be sure to vlog it because I forgot to vlog my food. It sucks. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you dig in first. No, you dig in first. Where's the peaches? I don't even see it. Baked in. What do you think? Mm. 
pretty good. <laughs> I can taste the beef. Me and my mom were trying to like decide. What? I can taste the Jack Daniels, damn it. <laughs> mm. Anyways, we, me and my mom were trying to decide like if we were food bloggers, how would we describe food? Like that is like the most complicated thing in life probably. Cause we're such bad describers. So we were like, well, it's, it's sauteed in onions and it's good. <laughs> breaded and mm. breaded. Lightly, lightly, lightly breaded and fried. But I, don't, I like just can't describe anything. Like that's why I always say, oh my God, this is so cute. Like to a shirt. Like, I'll, like in a haul or something, I'll be like, this is so cute, that's why I bought it. It was just so cute, you know? I feel like everyone does that on YouTube, but it's just a habit. So we just went to CVS and the grocery store, and I decided why not do a CVS haul because I actually got some beauty products. So first, I got the whitening strips. We didn't get the Crest whitening strips because they are like so expensive, holy crap. These were like 22 and they came with so many more treatments than the other ones did. This has 28 treatments and I think the other one was like 14 treatments and it was like $50, $55. So I don't know. But if you guys like have tried the Crest whitening strips and tried like off brand, like let me know which one's better because obviously if these don't work then I'll probably go get the like real ones but I've never tried them before, so I'm really excited to try them. So I think I'm gonna try them like right after this haul. Eat. I need my teeth to be white because I just feel like they're like kind of yellow all of a sudden. Next, I got the Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Soleil, and it's really pretty, so I'm really excited to try that out. And I've seen a lot of this on Instagram too. Very picture perfect. Then I got this blush from L'Oreal. I, I don't really buy L'Oreal makeup, Personally, packaging is everything to me, and this packaging is like shit. It looks like fake makeup, you know? Like, can I get an amen? Like, seriously, they could do much better. But anyways, I was looking for like another blush just because I've used the same blush for like five years or something. Quick side note, like, have you ever noticed when I say like an exaggerated number, it's always five? Like, five years or like 5,000 minutes or like something like that. It's always five. That's like my, my go-to exaggerated number. It's like so weird. Anyways, I have been using the same blush, the, NAR, the NARS Outlaw for like so long. So I was like, okay, like time to switch it up. So I kind of wanted like a like corally, like kind of peachy kind of blush. So I got this one in the color Apricot Kissed. Then I had to get a refill on the last Sensational. Then I got this Biore Free Your Pores, great for combination skin, baking soda, pore cleanser, yes. And it looks like this. I actually had like a sample of this in like Seventeen Magazine or something. I was like, okay, like might as well try it out. Then I just got some body wash. I mean, this is just soft soap, citrus, splash, and berry fusion. I wanted the Caress one, like the one that just had the commercial come out. It's like the ones with like the bubbles that pop or something with like smell. I don't know. Have you guys seen that commercial? I don't know. It looks really cool and I really wanted to try it because I love Caress. I literally cannot use any other soap but Caress because like every other soap just makes me feel like rubbery and weird after I use it. So I didn't really, I couldn't get the Caress because my mom was like, just get this one. It's buy one, get one free. You know moms, they want to get stuff cheap. That was a really quick haul. I'm pretty proud of myself. I feel like I talked really fast. Also, I was in the grocery store and I was like on Twitter or whatever and I saw Brooke Michio's tweet about day designer agendas. It just said like get yours fast because it's going to sell out and I'm literally looking for like a new planner just because, I don't know, I'm like sick of my old planner and I really just want a planner that says the times of the day. Like I am just that nitpicky that I really want to write out like every single second of my day and I do use like the apps right now. I kind of want more of a visual thing so I just decided to get a day planner and I'm really excited. I hope it ships soon because I cannot wait any longer. I really need a planner here because my planner is back in Orlando. I forgot to bring it home but I was kind of sick of it anyway so I'm excited. I am currently trying to take an Instagram picture or a blog picture or whatever this turns into of just like a little mini haul. I thought it would be cute but it turned into an Instagram picture. I feel like my desk can't hold me up. I don't know how this is happening right now. Now this is like not balanced. I'm doing like a flat lay and it's kind of annoying me that it's like not straight. 
And this mascara won't like stay in place because it's round. Yay, they look good. Oh. All right, guys, this is my first time with these whitening strip things. Do I have to like fold them under? I don't even know. feeling it's supposed to dissolve on your teeth mm -mm. we're going to the outlet mall for 30 minutes because it closes at 9 and it's 8 we're gonna get there at like 8 45 so like 15 we'll do minutes now, <laughs> how far is it though 10 minutes, 10 minutes? really so my teeth look white here. I don't know, maybe it's just like the lighting I've been in that it didn't look that white, but they feel squeaky clean. Have you ever tried the whitening strips? Have you ever tried anything whitening? Yeah, but these aren't that bad. Like they don't even feel sensitive. I think they like, I think like a lot of teeth whitening things like improve their formula. I've heard people recommend like Crest whitening strips for sensitive teeth and I've heard those are like the worst. Yeah, so like, like if if your teeth get sensitive, then you should use those. So I feel like their formula has gotten better. Is that what you got? No, I didn't. I got I got the off-brand ones because the Crest Lightning strips were like so expensive. So we're in Vans right now. I cannot even believe this guy. Like I don't. I wouldn't even imagine him wearing Vans. Oh yeah, he used to skateboard. Okay, he used to, but his hair worked out. Anyways, so is this the one you wanted, Ryan? For real? Uh, I want to. Seriously? Yeah. I can't even imagine. What would you wear it with? Maybe I'll like them on you. I just have to see them on you, you know? He came to Journeys because Vans didn't have his size in the ones he wanted. So let's see how they look. They're like not even black though, and the shoes are black, so it looks, it looks weird. It looks like you're just wearing socks. <laughs> yeah, but they're like. Like, you know what I mean? They're like really narrow. So Ryan finally told me what he wants for his birthday, some Nike stuff. He's finally letting me get stuff for him. These are cool. Yeah, they're, yeah, those are cool. Update on the Vans. He didn't get them because- She just not as ugly and they're weird. I didn't say you were ugly. She said you look fat in those. I was like, thanks. I said that his proportions of his body. So you, you have really thick ass calves. <laughs> yeah. The vans he had were like really, really narrow, so it just looked really weird. Like his body is like really wide, so it went like from wide to like really skinny. But I made it up to him because I bought him some stuff at Nike for his birthday. Because I suck at getting him presents because he never tells me what he wants. I already know what she got me. She tries to hide it. What? I already guessed it. It's not funny, but I know. Okay, this is good. This is like gonna be so awkward when you like open your present and it's not something that you think it is. Like he always does this. He always thinks it's like some great gift, and I'm literally like being honest. I didn't get him anything. I told him I got him Columbia shirts, but apparently he thinks I got him something else. I'm like, I wish I did. He told me something else, but you didn't ask for anything. You didn't tell me anything you wanted. Anything. What did you ask for? A gun? Yeah, I'm not getting you a gun. You're insane. I don't wanna buy him a gun. Like, I wanna buy him something nice, you know? Like, a really nice clothes that he can, like, wear all the time. Like, you're just gonna shoot a gun, like, every once in a while. Like, I want you to use my present, like, all the time, you know? I wear shorts a lot. What? I wear shorts a lot. Yeah, I know you do, so that's why I bought you some shorts. And I got you some shirts, because you wear shirts a lot. And a guy can never have too many shirts. I actually don't have hangers right now. What? I need more hangers. I can get you that too if you want. I need, I need felt one. Felt hangers, okay. Felt hangers. I'll remember teal. that. Teal? Teal? Oh god, what, what if I get the wrong teal hangers? I don't have that. Clash hangers. 
Shit. Hey guys, so it's June 16th and I'm about to meet Ryan at a coffee shop on his lunch break and I'm going to take like a PR picture for KD and I kind of want to, you know, get a little Instagram in for myself. So hopefully it all works out and we have like a lot of time. Um, I'm not like a big coffee drinker at all, like nunzo. Well, I don't know, like I like the sweet ones, if that makes sense, but other than that, like, I usually just drink tea, um, so if they have tea, I'll probably get that. Today should go down in history because my makeup took me less than 20 minutes. I was, I kind of want to do, like, the five-minute makeup challenge just, like, to see. Obviously, I did not do it today because it was well over five minutes, but I do want to do it just to see if I can do it because, like, times like these, okay, this looks weird. <laughs> um, times like these, like, I need to do my makeup so fast. Like, I got out of bed at, like, 11.30 or, like, 11.45 or something, and he was like, oh, meet me at 12.30, and I was like, hmm, shit. Um, so, yeah, I was, like, because I wanted to, like, look cute, too, like, my clothes and stuff, so I had to take time for picking out an outfit, so I couldn't, like, put all my time and effort into my makeup, which is kind of sad because I don't really like to, like, take off my makeup in the middle of the day and redo it for a night and i'm working a live after five which if you guys aren't from like roswell or anywhere near here it's like this thing on historic roswell canton street it's like a really cute street like and i work at the pie hole we're only open in the nights when a live after five happens so i'm really excited because i feel like i'm going to see a lot of people and i like seeing people that i know like i know a lot of people don't but I'm excited because I feel like I haven't seen anyone this summer and then after it I'm hoping to like meet up with Jill and Maddie to just chill out over there and apparently it doesn't end until 12 or midnight but I I thought it ended at like 10 so hopefully I'll have time to do that because that will be really fun. We are at Land of a Thousand Hills. I got some chai iced tea. Can you do a silver intensive? What? Can you do a silver intensive? <laughs> <clears throat> What'd you get? Uh, it's a cold brew coffee. Cold brew. And I'm about to take a picture for Katie's Instagram. Oh my god. What even? So I got a little too hot. I put my hair up in a bun and I'm probably going to edit a skincare routine. I might go inside to do it because it's really hot up here, but yeah, I just need to get this done, so I might as well do it here. So during Land of a Thousand Hills, I actually edited my whole skincare routine, so there's just a little quick fixes that I need to do before uploading, but that should be up really soon. By the way, don't mind my ointment again. My lip is like acting up. You'll find out more about that during my skincare routine. But um, yeah, so I just edited that and then I went home because I had to be at work at 4.30 and it's 4.22 right now, hee <laughs> hee, yeah. But I ran home because I really wanted to just do my hair like kind of nice, you know, because it kind of has to be like up, especially because I'm dealing with food. And I didn't really want to just put it in a braid because I felt like that would just be, you know, like an everyday thing. But this Elijah 5 thing it happens only every third Thursday of the month. So I was just like, well, might as well like look nice. So I kind of curled it and I braided like the top of it and I put it in a really high ponytail. And then I changed because my friends want me to meet them afterwards, um, after I get off of work. But yeah, hopefully I will be able to vlog a little bit at work. I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. Sometimes it's so busy and then other times it's like legit like empty. Live at the pie hole with M Dog. Uh. <laughs> We are making pizza because Sabrina, our boss, um, like got us some pizza. So we're just like cooking it, heating it up in the oven, waiting for some customers. Like I feel like no one's coming, but there's like this like rush that happens. Like what time does it happen at? Seven. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's like eight, nine. But we like close at nine, but there's always like the biggest rush when it, like we, we're trying to close, you know? We're just waiting for some customers because we're like bored as shit. We were just like, maybe we should have brought in like our laptops to watch Netflix on. Would have been a smart idea, but you saw good. Oh, it smells so good. I know it does smell good. It's truffle pizza okay, with like mushrooms and pros prosciutto. Oh, <laughs> 
Yummy! Oh, don't want to get burned. Hey guys, so I just got off work. Go live after five! Woo! I'm with Jill too. We're just roaming the streets. What? What's your name? You didn't even say Emma, it. Emma, um, I had PBJ for dinner. That was the best option. PBJ? Where? Uh, pickle Pickle. All the oh. rest, a two and a half hour wait, so. Shut up. Yeah, like ceviche. Oh. Even the barbecue restaurant. Like, yeah, I bet. This place is crazy. 1920 had a 25 minute wait. That's not bad. Yeah. I was about to go to like... I look so sweaty. We all are. Sweaty bitches. All y'all. Squad up. Squad up. That's Maddie. That's Chloe. That's Jill. She's a Katie too. Woo woo. <laughs> Want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> that one is good. Right. That man is a trap, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be the tired. Let me love more. I just know. Let me love more. I just know.